Today, let's have a look at some screw-on neutral density filters. So this is the Niwa set of ND filters and they are from Amazon and they cost about £14 and um, there should be four filters inside and some other things. Let's have a look. Okay, so we can see that there is a lens cleaning cloth useful. This appears to be a lens brush which pops out and pops back in again to keep it clean. On the other end there is a cleaning pad for polishing bits of dirt off of lenses and filters. That's useful. So this is the pack, it's a protective pouch, feels slightly padded, velcro clip and inside four lenses. Uh, let's see what we have. Probably see them better if we place them onto a white sheet. Okay, so we have um, an ND filter 2 and this will give one stop of light loss. The ND4, which will give two stops of light loss. And the ND8, which is three stops. 16 which should be four stops and they're all 58 millimeter screw thread so they fit onto my standard lenses you can stack them up by screwing them together and the mathematics for the calculation should be very easy if you add a one-stop filter to a two-stop filter, you have a three-stop filter. And if you add a three-stop filter to a two and a one, you have six. And this is a four-stop filter. So if we add it to all the others, it should give us a total of 10 stops. So what do neutral density filters actually do for photographers? In photography, a neutral density filter, or ND filter, reduces the amount of light entering the lens. This allows slower shutter speeds or bigger apertures to be used in bright conditions without overexposing the images. So this is a very useful technique to give more control in a wider range of lighting conditions for special effects like blurred backgrounds and motion blur, such as moving water or vehicle light trails, etc. Most importantly, these filters reduce or modify the intensity of all wavelengths or colours of light equally, giving no change in hue or colour rendition. Here you can see that as we change the filters and start to stack them up, the moving water gets more blurred as the shutter speed gets slower without affecting the overall exposure of the images. As we stack the four lenses together, we get the maximum effect of 10 stops and the water is noticeably blurred. There is a problem with stacking filters on wide angle lenses though. When you screw additional filters onto the end of your lenses, you are effectively adding a long tube to the lens and this will cause unfortunate vignetting, especially on very wide angle lenses. 
This can be eliminated by zooming in a little to crop out the vignette. Another problem is that when you attach a very dark filter like a 10 stop filter, you can't really see anything through the viewfinder. This can be resolved on a digital camera by switching to screen view and the digital sensor adjusts the scene so the image can be seen with the filters in place. These are some of the effects you can achieve, although you will probably need a darker filter than a 10 stop, or you will need to work in a lower light situation to achieve the very long exposures of 20 or 30 seconds. Please see the links below for more information.